The Labradoodle and Golden Doodle are both awesome dog breeds which are friendly, loving and active. Although they seem similar, there are some subtle differences that you probably didn't know. Is the Labradoodle or Golden Doodle the perfect dog for you? In this video I'll show you the differences of these two dog breeds based on 10 topics so you can find out. Number 1. Origin Both the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle are designer dog breeds which were bred to develop hypoallergenic guide dogs. Both breeds were bred with two purebred dog breeds. The Labradoodle is a mixed crossbreed between a Labrador Retriever and a Poodle. This breed is used as a guide, assistance and therapy dog for over 40 years thanks to their naturally friendly and highly trainable personalities. They are now spread around the whole world and help people that are physically or mentally limited. The Golden Doodle is a mixed crossbreed between a Golden Retriever and a Poodle. They were first bred in 1969 and since then their popularity did increase. It is thought that the success of the Labradoodle and Cockapoo brought about the idea of the Golden Doodle breed. They are also used as guide dogs, not as much as the Labradoodle and are famous in homes of people without any limitations. Number 2. Personality Known for their intelligence, calm temperament, extroversion and elegant gait, the Labradoodle's personality is so affectionate and sociable that they often need to be trained to mitigate their abrasive excitement for life. While their personality can fluctuate drastically, the multi-generational Labradoodle does demonstrate stable characteristics. Golden Doodles are also super friendly and love people, but if there was an intruder, they would rather play games than protecting their home. They have a stable personality without any aggressions and may only feel uncomfortable in situations, but they never should bite or snap. Both breeds are very loving and not made to be guard dogs. The Golden Doodle will be a bit calmer and gives you more silent minutes than the Labradoodle. Number 3. Appearance Labradoodles can come in three different sizes because of the different sizes of their poodle parents. They grow between 14 to 24 inches, which is 36 to 60 centimeters, and weigh between 15 to 60 pounds, which is 7 to 27 kilograms. Golden Doodles can grow up to 24 inches, which is 60 centimeters, and weigh between 30 to 45 pounds, which is 14 to 20 kilograms. Some breeders try to create a teddy bear look, which isn't very common but very popular. If you are trying to get a specific looking puppy with any of these breeds, you should buy a more advanced generation with stable looks and sizes. Number 4. Trainability Both dog breeds are perfect for first time dog owners and timid pet owners. They are intelligent, have good work ethics and are eager to please their master. Labradoodles need rules and benefit from schedules and training sessions. These sessions should be performed daily and kept short. You should avoid harsh correction or heavier handed training methods when training with them. Golden Doodles are called people pleasers because they really want to make their parent happy. Good behavior should be rewarded with positive reinforcements. Just make sure they do not get used to get a reward for every little achievement. If you want to learn more about dog brain training, check out the description. Number 5. Time investment. Both the Labradoodle and the Golden Doodle need not more than 60 minutes of daily exercise. They want to spend time outside, so a house with a yard would be perfect, whereas an apartment wouldn't make them happy. The Labradoodles are also great walking companions and will keep up in a run, so if you enjoy being outside, this is the perfect way of entertaining your dog. Golden Doodles do need a bit less exercise per day than the Labradoodles, but also want to play outside. Both breeds love water, so if there's a sea where you live, make sure to go there every couple days to make them even happier. Number 6. Coat Due to their same parent, the Poodle, these breeds can have similar coat shape and color. Labradoodles can have a fleece coat, slightly wavy to extremely wavy, a wool coat that consists of tight curls, which reminds of a Poodle's coat, and a hair coat, which is more like a coat of the Labrador Retriever. The colors of their coat can be red, black, blue, silver, caramel, chocolate and many more. Golden Doodles can have a fur coat that is shaky like a Golden Retriever or curls like a Poodle and some are perfect hybrids. Their coat can vary from cream to black with many different shades in between. Unclipped, your Pooch's hair is usually between 4 and 7 inches long, which is between 10 and 17 centimeters. Number 7. Best Home Both breeds make wonderful family pets and are perfect for first time dog owners with children. It is fun for adults and children to play and train with them because of their high intelligence and patience. 
You should start quickly learning them the basic rules and you shouldn't be too soft because their cute eyes might fool you. They both do well with other dogs and pets and don't show aggression toward other animals. With a proper education and socialization, this can be a great addition to your home. There aren't big differences in these two dog breeds in this topic. Number 8. Health Both dog breeds live an average life of 10 to 15 years when properly cared for and fed an appropriate good quality diet to suit their ages. They are prone to some diseases that are common in their parents. Labradoodles can suffer from hip dysplasia, eye diseases, elbow dysplasia and Addison disease. Golden Doodles can suffer from more diseases, which some of them are hip dysplasia, ear infections, elbow dysplasia and many more. Due to these diseases, make sure you care about their daily health by brushing their teeth 2-3 to three times per week, trim their nails twice a month and go to your veterinarian on a regular basis. Number 9. Costs. A Labradoodle puppy and a Golden Doodle puppy both can cost up to $3,000 from a reliable breeder with health tested parents. But these one time costs are only a small part of the lifetime costs. Food, toys, veterinary care, grooming and daycare all add up too. Yearly expenses of owning one of these two dog breeds can reach up to $1,000 or more. Also, if you are looking for a specific looking puppy, for example a teddy bear look, this will cost you more upfront because of their rareness and popularity. Number 10. Diet If you want your Labradoodle or Golden Doodle to stay healthy, you should buy high quality food and monitor the amount served, especially in the first months. You should serve them food that has quality sources of protein and fat. A Labradoodle should eat 2 cups of dry food per day broken into two different meals. Puppies might need a bit more food. With golden doodles, try to avoid food with common allergens like corn, soy, wheat and dairy. Due to their difference in sizes and weight, they need more or less food. So before you adopt a puppy, make sure you talk to your breeder, veterinarian or other dog owners to learn more about this topic. Do you consider buying a labradoodle or golden doodle? Let us know in the comments and share your experience if you already have one. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about dogs in the future.